way I see it, there's two kind of people in the world. There's fuckers and then there's fucks. The fuckers do the fucking, the fucks get fucked. And the people that do shit are the fuckers. Everybody else are fucks. You and me, we're fuckers. That asshole back there, he's a fuck. You know what I'm saying? I mean, some people get caught up in the day-to-day -day bullshit, trying to make ends meet, pulling paycheck to paycheck. Fuck that shit, man. They know what they do, can do to get out, but they don't fucking do it because they're too afraid of some cock-sucking pig finger-blasting their asshole, all because of some law some fat pussy in Congress made up. Fuck that. That's how we know we have fuckers and fucks. Hey, cunt, can you roll up that window? I'm freezing my nuts off. What? what? You didn't say please. Oh, fuck. Please. And you called me a cunt. You know I don't mean anything by it. You know, I just get all worked up. You know what doesn't happen when I get all worked up? It doesn't warm me the fuck up. So will you please roll up that goddamn window? Thank you. Fuck. Why do you talk like that? Huh? You think it makes you sound tough? What are you talking about? Why do you swear so much? Oh fuck, don't give me this bullshit. You're not my fucking dad. I'm not trying to talk to you like that. You dad. cuss too, so don't give me all this high and mighty bullshit. I'm not trying to give you high and mighty you, bullshit. Come on, man. Fucking Catholic. It does nothing to do well, with Well, stop me. acting like my fucking dad. You know, you're only a couple years older than me. You're right. I am just a couple of years older than you. And listen to how I talk compared to how you talk. It's sad. What do you mean it's sad? I'm not trying to tell you this like I'm your father. I'm trying to tell you this like a partner. I'm selfish. And I don't want you to make me look bad. Make you look bad? Yes. The other night at Jason's, you were jabbering a bunch of bullshit. What the fuck's the problem? We were playing cards, so who the fuck cares? What you were saying was stupid, and it's what got you smacked. You offended her and she left. If she can't handle it, it's her fucking problem. No, the problem is, is that you sound like a punk kid who just figured out how to cuss. You think that makes you sound tough and cool. To hang in with the big dogs, but it doesn't. It makes you sound like an amateur. An amateur? Yes. All I'm saying is act like a professional. Man, fuck professionalism. You know who professionals are? Stiffs. People that work nine to five. I don't want fucking that. Yes, I know. It's a lot of bullshit. Handshakes and hoops to jump through. Yeah, exactly. But it's part of what we do. It's part of the business. It's a sign of respect. The suits, the smiling, is what separates us from the riffraff on the street. There are special laws that apply to organized crime that don't apply to petty criminals or fucks, as you call them. And it is in this respect that you are privileged. You are a part of that group. But if you don't act like a professional, then you might as well be as common as a piece of dog shit on the sidewalk. It's what takes the organized out of organized crime. You're right. Thanks for watching out for me. That's also a part of the organized crime. We have to look out for one another because no one else will. Alright, it's getting all gay in here. Let's, uh, let's jam. Why do we gotta come all the way out and see the sticks? There's probably a park somewhere where we dump the body. No. See, you haven't got a police jurisdiction. Or at least ours. There's only one cop in this town, and he's always drunk off his ass. So unless there's some sort of county mounty convention, or the state troopers want to have some sort of incest fest, I think we'll be all right. Well, let's get it done. <laughs>
Oh, whew. Oh, it doesn't smell any better. Yeah, well, let's let the smell get on us. Where are you going? You get a shovel. You see, we marked the trees, but to average people, they look like deer antler marks. Okay. Catch. What? You don't get one? Rookies dig the holes. Don't bitch about it. And I suggest you get started now so we can get that fucker in the ground by sundown. What I mean is, if her tits are insured for that much, she has to lose one of them due to like breast cancer or shit like that. How much is that shit worth? The stuff they suck out, you know? Shh. What? Did you hear that? It's probably a deer or something. No. A deer would have been running away from the sound of the car. That was more steadily like a person. I think we might have a problem. What do I do? Well, first and foremost, don't pull out your fucking gun. Just hang by the car. I'll be back in a minute. Okay. How are you? Good, I guess. It's nice up here, right? It is nice. What brings you up here? Oh, I suppose the same reason why you two guys are up here. Is that right? Yeah, the geocache, right? Uh, the what? The geocache? No, 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 that's right. Yeah, no, we're geocachers. Yeah. Really? Uh, well, why else would two guys in businesses be up here? Uh, I'm Derek. This is my friend Fisher. People just call us fish and chips. Oh, fish and chips, I like that. Well, my name's Chris. Nice to meet you, Chris. Yeah. Hey, I know. Why don't we look for it together? So, Chris, what exactly does this geocache look like? Unlike the other ones I found around here, this one is supposed to be pretty sizable. Oh yeah? Yeah. Uh, my guess is underneath one of the tree stands or something as a lockbox. Lockbox? It's got the log in it. Forgive my friend. He's new to this. Doesn't have the same sense of adventure that I have. Uh, maybe you can elaborate on what a lockbox is. Well, you sign your name in it once you find it. And then if there's something you want to take out, you can. Or if you're really generous, you can put something back in. Pretty neat, huh? Yeah, sounds pretty interesting. So, what do you guys do for a living? Uh, we're stock workers. Oh, yeah? Yeah. What do you do? Oh, well, I used to work in a fast food restaurant, but then I got locked in a fridge and missed all my shift and got fired. That's rough. Eh, well, what brokerage companies do you guys work for? We prefer not to get the information out, Chris. For competition and whatnot, we handle most of our business over the phone. So, in case the deal goes south, the people who were involved with it won't know what we look like to hurt us. Pretty smart. Hey, I think I see it over there. Oh, thank God. You mind? Nah, my dad does it all the time. Well, you guys, this is it. Oh boy, this one has a pen in it too. You guys wouldn't believe the ones that expect you to have one on you. You want me to sign it? Well, it's what you came up here for, isn't it? Yeah, I guess. Oh, what the hell.
You guys gonna put anything in it? Nah, I think my name's enough. I give the gift of lung cancer. <gasps> Well, that's that. Had a good hike in, saw a good lake over there, and I got to meet two new cool dudes. Let's get the fuck out of here. Well, I guess I'll be seeing you guys. Think we should change the spot? You're joking. I mean, the whole point of coming all the way up here is to dump a body where no one else will be. That's kind of shot. It, I mean, you saw how many names are on that notepad back there. Hikers and shit will be coming all the way up here to sign that thing. Well, regardless, we do as we're told. Nothing more, nothing less. Because regardless of the fact that people look at what we do in a strange way, we have a job and we do it. That's why we didn't kill that kid. That and the fact you don't walk into a small town and kill kids on a fucking whim. We weren't told to kill him, so we didn't do it. But he saw our faces. Doesn't matter. That kid's so gullible, I could have told him that we were FBI agents investigating an alien abduction. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. The hole didn't finish digging itself. Looks big enough. Let's get that body out of the truck and get this thing over with. You gonna help carry him, or do rookies have to do that too? Well, let's see how heavy he is, and we'll see. What the fuck? This guy's stiff as shit. Oh, yeah, that's uh, it's called rigor mortis. No, this doesn't even feel human. What the fuck? Whoa. Turn around, put your hands up. What's going Turn on? Turn the fuck around! What's going on? Walk. To the fucking hole, walk! What are you doing? My job. What do you mean? I'm sorry, kid, but this time you're the one who's gonna get fucked. What the fuck is this shit? You remember that, that uh, low-life drug dealer that got plugged outside of Ray's a couple weeks back? Well, it turns out that was unauthorized. It also turns out that he was a distant nephew of the boss. Get up! How'd you know it was me? <laughs> you aren't exactly cautious. You see, we have a friend in the CSI department. Your skin was found in the guy's teeth under his fingernail. So, we got him to falsify the report to the police, and he told us what really happened. It was the boss's idea, though, with the dummy. Our CSI guy hooked us up with a CPR dummy, and we smeared a sheet with possum blood and covered him. I understand. Why not just kill me? Well, that was my idea, but the boss said he wanted you to dig your own grave. Not really my style, but kudos to him. So all that about teaching me a lesson was all fucking bullshit? The whole thing? I thought we were, we were partners. Ah, oh, shut your fucking mouth! All you do is talk! But when push comes to shove, you won't do anything because you're a little bitch like I always thought you were. You won't shoot? What was that? You won't shoot. You're afraid that kid will hear something. Oh, that's right. Don't even think about it, Phil. Don't. I'll kill you before you make your first step. <laughs> Do 
You fucking cunt. Probably should find a new spot.